I mean, but my fundamental question, I think, is, you know, just quite simply, why do trees look the way they do? I mean, it seems a perfectly reasonable question to be able to answer. This one's only just begun it, but look. Um, this way that trees, you know, in incredibly slow motion, swallow the structures that are, are around to support and contain them. My name is Natalie Jeremajenko, and I call myself whatever I need to call myself in terms of whether I'm an artist or an engineer. What I'm interested in and what I work with is material culture, the stuff we live with and, and why it looks like what it looks like. And uh, trees in the urban context is also part of that. For the past four years, Natalie Jeremjenko has been talking to scientists and artists about a monumental, long-range art project she calls One Trees. It involves planting 100 pairs of cloned trees in different locations throughout San Francisco. They're actually um, walnut trees. They were called Paradox. There's 220 fronting property owners who have signed up for uh, a pair of these trees. And in the springtime, hopefully we'll begin planting them in pairs all around the San Francisco Bay Area. Over time, Natalie expects the trees, which are genetically identical, to grow at different rates depending on their environment. It's like a gigantic controlled experiment designed to expose the social, cultural, and economic distinctions between the people who care for the trees, as well as the climactic differences between the locations. As a group, these trees will paint a social and environmental portrait of San Francisco's diverse neighborhoods. This is it. This is the one tree of the, right. of the one tree. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the biggest, fattest mother. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a hundred year old tree, right? Nineteen oh five. So it's, it's a survivor, and, and those those survivors are, are what we look for in in, in agriculture. Cloning may seem like science fiction to most of us, but in commercial agriculture, it's commonplace used to replicate strong, disease-resistant species like this one. Natalie's clones were created at Birchall Nurse in Oakdale, California. For the first few months, they were grown in laboratories like this one. Now four years old, these trees, which are genetically identical, are already rendering the slight differences in their experience of the environment. Everyone sees the differences between the trees. That's not hard to see. And most people commented on them, except for the art critics. The art critics didn't see the differences. Um, they described them as weird science in the New Yorker and spooky clones and in the New York Times, and didn't make a single comment on the fact that these clones look different. After years of working on one trees, Natalie still has only a handful of sites committed to the project, and now that she lives in New York, her visits to San Francisco are spent crisscrossing the city, searching for potential planting sites. This, is, this makes a nice little perch, doesn't it? <laughs> All the sites that I want to explore are very much about the particularity of this place. You know, it's incredibly vulcanized you know, socially, uh, with vast inequities in sort of how and who lives where in co combination with sort of incredibly contrasting microclimates that make you know the mission district bright and sunny and full of vegetable gardens and the avenues sort of dim and foggy this is a potential site given that i can put a pair you know on either side of here and or a pair down here. If I could get one here and one over there, you can see there's radically different light conditions. Someday, the One Trees project may actually involve formal documentation of the tree's growth patterns, 
But for now, Natalie's work is more process than product, putting her in company of many other well-known contemporary artists, like Christo and Joseph Boys, for whom this kind of legwork is part of their art. Hi, Doug. It's Natalie Dermotenko calling in. I uh, had a couple of messages about the, the One Tree project and about planting some trees in the... The, uh, Natalie has been trying to reach bard officials yeah, for months to discuss planting her trees at one or more of their stations. The, the person in charge of the grounds, please, the grounds director. Um. Boy, well, I don't think I'm going far with that, Lee. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine planting a few trees, enlisting all the people, the work to enlist all these people. You know, the, the, uh, it's just, that's the, that's the hard work, and that's where, of course, it, the trees will survive or not survive. That's where this project will work or not work. So that's the hard work. And uh, is that just plain? pain in the butt hard work or is that actually part of the work of art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the work of art. Right. <laughs> After four years of pitching, Natalie finally has a couple of sites committed. Knock, knock. Now she's hoping that the friends of the urban forest right. will be willing to help her with the planting. I would love to show you my... Right. This is my daughter who is now 14. And I started <laughs> this project for her 10th birthday. So the thing is about these trees is that they can get big. <laughs> they can get really big. Well, they're beautiful. Um, they're so gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, look at that. Look at this. this is a... What's the base on this guy? Four foot diameter? Yeah, I, I think we could find ten sites uh, okay. for sure out of the 30. Right. 30 might be hard. I feel like I've made a huge leap from uh, in that project. It's great. It makes me feel tremendous because I care about the project, they care about the project, and it makes, it, it makes me think it's gonna really happen. Oh, all right. Oh, that's nice, that's a nice cake. So what we're gonna do is lightly score those. It's exciting, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of all abstract until we get them in the ground, so. So when we tie it, we want to tie it loosely. Um, we want it to go as wave around as many directions as possible because the tree needs exercise to get tougher. Um, Smell them good, like laurel. And they're actually, the ones that are being planted are all genetic clones, identically. So we saw these at the Exploratorium. You did? They, yes. Yeah, they were there. That's yeah. right. And this um, is them. And so they're being... The from the Exploratorium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled. I've worked on this project for four years now. And I've had so many people think I'm a lunatic, think that it's never going to get done, to actually break ground. It's tremendously exciting. The next 3,000 steps is to continue getting sight. Still working on BART <laughs> and still working on downtown San Francisco. Smart.